Or three. Or maybe. Go. Let's give it a shot. See what you think. No bra. No bra day. No bra day. Does that mean top I have to, free. Does that mean that I have to leave the house? Cover. Yeah. See, like. It went but look, here's, here's, here's the it. iron. <laughs> what can I we, like? we feel sexualized without a bra that people be looking at our stuff. But bras were designed to sexualize breasts. They're all decorated and everything. Boring. But yeah. Okay. I mean, let's look, a lot. We don't look at it in the common sensical way because we we train ourselves to tolerate. We we take things as well, that's just the way it is. We could walk around breast exposed as long as we got little pasties on the end. And that's more and that's acceptable. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. an actual issue. If we actually solve cure breast cancer, it would disrupt the economy. But you know, they, they, I believe that even with HIV. I, that's, that's, okay, I come on, that. Barry. You know, they really I need really, to yeah, I, I do. bet there is. A cure. I bet you there's a cure for for it all. But you know, folks look can't at make no money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have to. Uh -huh. um, with no oh, okay. About three years okay. ago. Oh, cool. uh, about three years ago, it may have been. I guess it was 2000. Oh no, 2010. Okay, go back. It was three years ago. It was about three years ago. Um, I had become a uh, member of the Young Professionals Board for an organization called Safe Connections. Mm. And I connected with Safe Connections because I am a domestic violence survivor. Two I times. do, mm -hmm. I do, and I was, um, I was, so I feel like I had the most amazing week. And I was like, God, you gotta show me, mm -hmm. like, show me, show me. Mm -hmm. He's like, watch me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's that's how it happens. And so, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of God. I'm, I mean, it's a faith walk. It's no big deal when it's a faith walk. Mm -hmm. um, but when I don't walk. That's when I'm like, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so that is a fake you're, you're in a car and you're traveling, say, from here to Atlanta. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At night. <laughs> so you have your headlights on and, and you can see about 200 feet in, ahead of you on a clear night. Mm -hmm. All right. And the only thing that you can really do is fill your car up with gas, have a general direction of where you're going and get in the car and start the car and go. The tank of gas that you start with in St. Louis is not gonna get you to Atlanta. So you know you have to get some gas somewhere between here and Atlanta, but you don't know where, but you know you gotta get it. But you're gonna trust that there's going to be a gas station where you need it when you need it to be there, mm -hmm. right? <coughs> now, at, at mile marker 237 on highway 75. 75. <laughs> you don't know that there is debris in the road, mm -hmm. but you trust that you're going to be able to see it in time to veer, change lanes, or what have you, or maybe even the road crew is going to get there and remove it by the time you get there. Faith. So as you're traveling along, like I said, you have your headlights on and you can only see 200 feet ahead of you. My best PR because she knows my story better than I know it. And she always says I forget to tell parts of my story and one of the things she said to me is you were stabbed 13 times but one of the most crushing stab wounds was the one that nicked your jugular vein. And before the stab wound I played the violin. And so afterwards, I of course couldn't play because it was on my left side. It's how I hold my instrument. It was numb for years. I just it just felt really bad to hold my instrument there. And God transferred that gift to my voice. And to have this gift and to have this voice and, and to not be able to use it. There's been seasons of my life where I couldn't sing. When things were going on where I was like the cage bird that just couldn't sing. To be able to be liberated from that and to be able to use it has been amazing. So not just my spoken word, but also my song. So my story and my song go hand in hand. And your service. We've got to fulfill the book. Won't you help to sing these songs of freedom? Because all I ever had, ever had, ever had. Redemption songs is all I ever had. 
Redemption song.